On the 30th of June, 2022, at 11.50 UTC, Coordinated Universal Time, what is quite possibly one of the most important space exploration tools of the 21st century, JPL's Perseverance rover launched successfully at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Its task, spending the rest of its mechanical life searching the vast expanses of the red planet for any sign of life or habitability. And while it hasn't found any small green beings, its findings may just change the very course of humanity's future. Today we're going to delve into the Perseverance, the result of NASA's massive effort to answer the question that has echoed throughout the centuries, was there ever life on Mars? So let's crack on. Before we take a look at the creation and journey of Perseverance, let's first discuss the masterminds behind the rover, JPL, or the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Headquartered in La Canada Flintridge, California, has roots dating back to 1936, when it conducted its initial rocket tests as part of the California Institute of Technology's Guggenheim Aeronautical Laboratory. After co-launching the United States' first satellite, Explorer 1, in January of 1958, JPL transitioned to NASA and became their primary spacecraft center. This included handling of all of NASA's design and craft operations, including both the Ranger and Surveyor Moon missions, which paved the way for the eventual Apollo missions. To put it simply, JPL's impact on the space race of the mid-1900s cannot be overstated. JPL not only helped put the first man on the moon, they also played a crucial role in the beginning era of exploring deep space throughout the 60s and 70s. They designed and manufactured craft to explore Jupiter and Mars in the 80s and 90s, eventually settling on Mars during the 2000s. JPL launched both the Mars Pathfinder and Mars Exploration Rover missions that ultimately proved that it was indeed possible to remotely navigate and explore Mars. From there, JPL eventually launched the Curiosity Rover in November 2011, which landed successfully on Mars in August 2012 and has amassed nearly 20 miles of travel distance since. And all of that history led the team to their current project, Perseverance. At its core, Perseverance is an upgraded version of Curiosity. The two share a number of extremely similar features, including their power system, landing system, and overall body design. However, the wheels on Perseverance are much improved over its predecessor, and its robotic arm was made with both greater durability and improved reach. Perseverance also received updated sampling and caching systems for sample collection, as well as state-of-the-art multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or MMRTG, which is powered by roughly 11 pounds of plutonium-238 oxide. This MMRTG powers Perseverance similar to the way a battery does. And while it does need to be charged periodically, opting for an onboard generator versus relying on electricity from solar panels, allows the JPL to operate the rover during night hours, the winter season, and even during dust storms. Roughly 29 weeks after its initial launch, aboard an Atlas V ship, Perseverance landed successfully within Mars' Jezero crater on February 18, 2021. The rover's initial landing signal took 11 minutes to reach back to Earth, where it was announced at 2055 hours UTC that a successful landing had occurred, in the southeast corner of the crater. Almost immediately, the first images taken by Perseverance onboard cameras began to be transmitted back to Earth, including an image of its parachute landing. A few days later, the first audio recordings of Mars' surface were transmitted as well, famously capturing the sound of wind on Mars. The rover had successfully landed on the surface of Mars, a true feat in itself. Now the real work could begin. After the JPL techs on the ground went through numerous functionality tests to ensure no damage occurred in transit, Perseverance's first test drive took place on March 4th, 2021. And subsequent images were released by NASA showing the rover's first track marks on Martian soil. Once it was determined that Perseverance was fully operational, it could begin to serve its overall purpose, a mission that was broken up into four separate objectives. First, to explore the study in depth of both the geology and the climate of the Red Planet. This includes any signs of notable oxygen production 
that could be crucial for potential human development on Mars. Secondly, Perseverance is searching for any sign of past microbial life. It has long been one of the most intriguing interplanetary questions and one of the Mars 2020 mission's core objectives. It can be proven that life once existed on Mars. We will finally know once and for all that Earth was not always alone in supporting life in our solar system. The third objective of the rover is collecting and storing core rock and soil samples from the Mars surface that are eventually to be returned to the Earth for further study. The fourth and final objective of Perseverance is to demonstrate its cutting-edge technologies for further refinement and consolidation for future planned Mars missions. As we've already covered, Perseverance has some of the most groundbreaking technological tools known to man on board, and NASA had to be extremely considerate when deciding which tools were the most crucial to include. In fact, they accepted and considered over 60 different proposals for different instruments and sets before they finally settled on the final list of seven. The Mars Oxygen ISRU experiment, known as MOXIE, is an exploratory instrument on board the rover that has a singular goal of attempting to produce a minute amount of oxygen utilizing the carbon dioxide found in Mars's atmosphere. Scientists believe that the oxygen could be successfully produced. That meant that future human development on Mars would be much more feasible. In April of 2021, the experiment proved worth it, as over five grams of oxygen were successfully produced within the span of a single hour. Not only does this mean that human life on Mars is theoretically possible, it also means that future return rockets could be fueled from the instrument. The Pixel, or Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, is an advanced X-ray fluorescence spectrometer, which was placed on board the Perseverance with the goal of analyzing and determining small-scale composition of Mars surfaces at the elemental level. The radar imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment, or RIMFAX, works as a subsurface penetrating radar imager to analyze different ground densities, buried rocks, or meteorites, and even potential underwater ice up to 10 meters into the ground. MEDA, MEDA, or the Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, is a set of advanced sensors that measure the number of important environmental aspects on Mars, including relative humidity, radiation output, wind speed and direction, as well as temperature. MEDA is an upgraded version of Curiosity's REMS system, and through MEDA, NASA was able to accurately report the live weather on Mars for the first time in April of 2021, when it was a high of minus 22 degrees C and a low of 80 degrees C or a high of 7.6 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 117.4 degrees, with wind gusts of up to 34.4 kilometers per hour or 22 miles per hour. The SuperCam, based heavily on Curiosity's ChemCam, is a multi-instrument suite that allows the rover to collect imaging and chemical analysis of mineralogical rocks and soil. The suite is made up of two lasers and four separate spectrometers that allow Perseverance to remotely assess rocks and regolith in the search for signs of previous life on Mars. Mastercam Z is the primary scientific camera on board Perseverance, and it allows the rover to take stereoscopic images with an impressive zoom capability. Many of the impressive images captured by the Mastercam Z are now available to view by everyone within NASA's photo gallery on their website, just as we're showing here. And finally, there's Sherlock, or scanning habitable environments with Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals an ultraviolet Raman spectrometer, which utilizes small-scale images combined with UV lasers to analyze the mineralogy of the planet, as well as identify organic compounds. Sherlock's various tools are spread out across Perseverance body and is viewed by many as the most impressive instrument on board the rover. One of Perseverance's most technical and difficult groundbreaking innovations is ingenuity the autonomous helicopter which was packaged on the underside of Perseverance. It is an innovative marvel of its own. The small aircraft measuring just 1219 millimeters wide, 508 millimeters tall, and weighing just 1.8 kilos, or for our American friends, 48 inches wide, 20 inches tall, and four pounds in weight, made history on April 19th, 2021. When its first test flight made it the first controlled aircraft flight on Mars, it also proved that a helicopter flight was possible in the Mars atmosphere, a revelation to scientists looking to plan future exploration and development. The helicopter also serves as a scout craft of sorts, being able to travel much faster than Perseverance. It is equipped with advanced avionics, which allow JPL operators to fly the craft, as well as antennas and high-tech sensors and cameras for image and data collection. 
Ingenuity, however, when it was first pitched, many within NASA and JPL heavily opposed including a helicopter into the 2020 mission. Thankfully, it was eventually approved, and this has been able to carry out crucial and ongoing exploration of Mars, alongside Perseverance. Think of it as JPL's own personal Automatus drone scout. Thus far, the Mars 2020 mission has been an overwhelming success. Not only have Perseverance and Ingenuity operated nearly flawlessly, there have already been a number of huge triumphs in the last two years since landing on the Red Planet. Thanks to the mission, us down on Earth have nearly 600,000 raw images of Mars, something that most of us as children would have never dreamed of seeing anywhere other than in a science fiction movie. We can now hear recordings and the sounds of Mars, and through NASA's website, even record ourselves speaking and hear what it would sound like on Mars. And while all of that is wonderfully fun and nearly unbelievable, it is more the scientific accomplishments of the mission that loom much larger for the future. Perseverance has already collected 23 of the desired 38 samples in the more than 1,000 days since landing on Mars. Of these samples, 20 are of core rock, two are regolith, and one is atmospheric, with more to be collected prior to sample recovery. As previously stated, the rover has also been able to prove oxygen production using Mars's atmospheric carbon dioxide, possibly opening the door to potential future human colonization and exploration. It's quite amazing to think that for the past two plus years, while life on Earth has continued more or less the same, some of the most advanced technological feats have been scouring the surface of another planet, collecting samples and making breakthroughs that were once thought to be works of fiction. Having now crossed the 1000 day mark on the red planet, it's clear to anyone that the time, financial investment, and the risk that went into the green lighting the Mars 2020 mission were all worth it. All in all, NASA estimates that once it's all said and done, nearly $3 billion will have gone into the Mars 2020 mission just over the course of about 10 years. That's more than the GDPs of some smaller nations. And while it isn't close to the most expensive NASA undertaking in history, it might very well end up being the most fruitful. Thanks to leading experts at NASA, JPL, and labs across the world that helped bring perseverance to fruition, Mars is no longer the final frontier, but rather just the next step in our interplanetary discovery. We may never find Martians fictionalized in cartoons and movies, but the discoveries awaiting us are incredible all the same. Until next time, let me know in the comments if you believe humans will one day live on Mars. Thanks for watching.